What's up guys, Alpha here, back with another Minecraft tour here on the Vadex server, and I'm joined again, once again, by Cupid. Cupid has been here since the last episode, I don't know how to get rid of him, he's just constantly following me on here. But, uh, anyways, I found this really cool plot, and it's here by spawn. We, we usually try to get, like, the really, really crazy looking plots really close to spawn. At least that's what, um, one of our admins does, uh, uh, Game, game for Aaron. He likes to do this. Um, now, this one is an amazing example for you guys because, yeah, it's a bit overkill if you're going for veteran. But you see, the thing is, in this server, you can actually skip a rank. Um, so some people some people are aware of that. Some people ain't. Um, if you can pull off a really crazy looking plot as an appren apprentice, uh, you could skip you could skip a veteran and go straight to Ladari, and that will let you um, access to big plot like straight away um but it, this is this is a really good example and i'm pretty sure that this is why it's so upfront because the the guy the guy that well here he's the person's name i can't can't pronounce his name but that's the person's name um and the, it'll also be down in the description i'm guessing that uh, game for Aaron saw that um it was potential worthy and uh he probably ranked him up straight to ladari if the guy was um uh, if the guy was an apprentice at the time, if he was a veteran, well, then he went to L Ladari without without no doubt because he has terrain, he has activeness, like it just has that really nice active feel. And it, and to pull it off in such a small little area, I think the guy did a very amazing job. Like he even has a he has a little bow, he has a lake, he has terrain, he has trees, he has structures, he has activeness, he has pretty much anything you could think of on this thing. Um, I don't really see an entrance. I would say it's just about here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a fly around. Just just a bit of a fly around and then we'll just like walk around in the area the only thing that he doesn't have is interiors but it doesn't really matter that much because he has so much of a, all the other stuff um but he was able to fit in three buildings half of them obviously were built um but he was able to fit in three buildings at least half of them and, and that's okay you can go ahead and make a structure and let it just be half if you don't have that area to actually fit the whole thing that doesn't really um bother us it just kind of we just kind of have to have an idea that you can build structure, like just from bu someone building this. Like you could tell that this person knows how to build structure, um, and you don't need to see the rest of it, um, especially because it just wouldn't fit and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, let's see. Let's just have a little bit of a look around a bit more. Yeah, you see, he has like all these type of little cool things. Like a canyon. Uh, what does he have right here? Plot by the person's name. Built in five hours. Small town build next to a frozen lake yeah you see he even has a little bit of a description of it like this guy went all out and it's i think a really really good job let's go ahead and just go by the ground area but all right so first thing right here it's kind of like he has a really nice looking bow i wouldn't say what to classify it as it's uh, i wouldn't say vikingish yeah, i would say more uh, of a sailboat or something but it's really cool it's very small obviously you can even fit a little bit of some cargo area here um, he can't really fit through here. Like, he, he literally used up all the space possible in in the plot. Like, and it, it's just amazing that he was able to fit all this stuff in. Um, let's go ahead and head over here. I want to try to get in this dock area. You see, he has, like, a little market stalls and stuff like that. It's just so very compact. Yeah, there's not enough walking room and stuff like that, but I wouldn't expect with all the stuff that he did to make it all accessible and stuff like that. Nothing in the chests. Uh, he has pistons, just random stuff, random cargo area to make the place look active, and that that's what makes a build look really good. Like, when you add bushes to a build, it, it's almost like d the same thing, just adding some cargo to a dock or something like that makes it, it just makes it pop, and it makes it really cool. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell what that is. And then these trees, to be done by hand, there's some pretty nice looking, um, I would say they're like pine trees, Christmas trees. They're at an angle, and they look pretty nice, and they're all done by hand, so that's really that's pretty cool. You got some little mini fireplace here. I think this is an actual... This is where uh, a blacksmith would be. So that's... The lava's there for a reason. Then you got an anvil. That's even half damaged a little bit. Oh, I'm mostly... Um, I'm using Aether's Ascended. Um, usually, well, I review in default. And I do everything in default. Um, but the two texture packs that are okay with you guys using on this server is default and Aether's Ascended. Those are the only ones we review in. So if you want us to look at like look at your build on another texture pack we probably won't look at it on that texture pack because it just we don't have it these are the only ones uh we um we use so it's default and aether's ascendant and it says that over there in the information board as well uh just so you guys know 
Um, but yeah, all right. So it looks like he got like a little. I don't know. It just just all around looks really good. Now this is the way up into the building. Um, you you could see he started somewhat of the interior, but obviously since he's not allowed to build on the other side, um, he he kind of just stopped it off there and kind of closed it up. Um, but it's just looking it's looking really good. I really love it. It's still walkable. There's like little farm areas right here with even a, a water mill thing hanging out from the 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 mountain here. It just looks really, really good. There's just tons of detail that went into this. Um, the, even there's like ground like what's it called randomization and stuff like that. This I believe is yeah, this is the shop that we're just at. Um this I don't even know. This is a, this almost feels like an adventure map, pretty much. And then you come out this way. Let's see. Here's like another little kind of tarp area that leads into, I'm guessing, a broken down mine. You see, look at that. Awesome. Just amazing, amazing job. And to know that all this was done by hand, none of the randomization of blocks was done with world edit because if you're an apprentice or even a veteran or a Ladari, you do not have any world edit. It's not until you become a centurion when you actually get a uh, world that access. Um, so just to know that all this was done by hand it was just a pretty amazing job. Uh, you got some ore stuff like that probably from the mine. I don't know what this thing... Oh, it's a crane. Yeah, this is a really nice looking crane that's holding hay for some reason. I don't know what it's going to pick up, but yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice little cool design for a dock. Um, I want to see, is there any way to like walk up to the top? No, I don't think there is. Just like this little thing here, but... I don't think there is any way. Um, here's a little of, uh, what is it, like a barbecue fireplace stand thing. This is one I, like I showed you guys a long time ago where I would um, I'd place down the quartz ore and I'll have fire under it. This, this is uh, one of the designs that I had for that. Um, or it was similar to this, I think. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much supposed to represent meat and the bones kind of sticking out a bit. Kind of more medieval-ish and stuff like that. Um, here's another building. Obviously, it's half cut off. But the structure itself looks really nice. I really like it. It has a lot of good detail and depth to it. Um, let's see. Is there any way you could go over there? No, you can't. Let's go ahead and head off this way real quick. You see, look at these. Like, even the randomization on the uh, on the staircases. Like, it's just insane. This guy just went all out on everything, pretty much. This is definitely passing veteran-worthy and going straight to Ladari if he was a apprentice. Um, yeah, pretty much nothing there. But you guys could see. The structure itself looks pretty cool. It has a little fireplace or a little uh, chimney sticking out the side. It even has like this little tarp thing going on here with a bunch of little plants. I'm guessing like a little mini uh, garden area or something like that. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't think there's any way to access this part but flying. Um, but what he has here is basically a uh, canyon, which looks pretty cool. I like the design. Um, then he has like some sort of a castle wall here. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but he has like a castle wall going on here, which looks pretty cool. I'm guessing like this area would be kind of like more of the armory area. Um, then he got a bunch of crates of TNT and some and oh that's not that's support detail pur purposes. And then he has like oh a really cool nice looking flag. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all he has over here. He has like a little bush I think or a tree going on back here. Looks pretty nice. But besides that, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Now you guys can go ahead and check out this plot if you want on the server. The IP is down in the description as well on how to get here. Um, because we are attached to a mini game server, but all that stuff is down in the description and you guys could see spawn is right there And I believe that's the back side of the building So you would go you'd fly up go to the back of the building and move over to the left corner of the plot of the main uh, section so you guys could see um, But or, or I'll bring up the coordinates as well So there's the coordinates so you guys can have a quick look at them But yeah all around this guy did an amazing job and the, I would definitely classify this as skipping veteran and going straight to Ladaria if he was a uh, apprentice and i just want to make sure you guys knew that as well because that is possible as long as you like make something as mind-blowing as this or something not not similar to it but like i mean just the activeness just the little keys he t kind of put in like the structure wise stuff and the little the detail to randomization and stuff like that i think that's all takes into consideration when judging um but yeah besides that guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any su other suggestions for anything else i should do Go ahead and put them down in the comments below, and I'll go ahead and check them out. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.